time we had a show in Modesto, California, which is actually like an hour and 20 minutes from where I live. And so it was just really awesome. Like my family drove down and my husband came and I brought my two and a half year old Tasmanian devil. And um, <laughs> it was like a little litmus test because he hasn't been to a show in a while. And I have to take him to Nashville with me and we're going to be performing in a theater. And last night we were in a theater and so I thought, if he does really, really well tonight, then I'll know I can bring him next month. And it didn't go so well. <laughs> um, he, he just, he's really, really smart, first of all. And he's gigantic. He's like in the size four clothes. And so um, he's like this little walking, talking, tiny man. And uh, But he still has like the attitude of a two-year-old. And so even though he can communicate really well and be like, I don't want an opportunity to obey. He just, <laughs> and I'm like, well, all right then. He still will like throw himself on the floor like a crazy person. And so um, he was okay last night, but then you could like hear him totally talking during the tender moments. And so we're like, you know, having like a sweet, tender, I can't remember one of the songs. It was like, I think it was it You Raised Me Up? It was literally like the most tender part. And you hear, I don't even know what he was saying. It was just crazy talk. And so um, I think I decided I need to hire a babysitter that night. <laughs> and, um, but he's just, uh, he's two and a half. His name's Josiah. And um, everyone's like, what an amazing biblical name. And I'm like, I should have named him Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, Dennis is his middle name. <laughs> but um, he was a perfect child until he turned six months old, literally from six weeks to six months. My husband and I thought other parents were morons. <laughs> we were like, why are they complaining? Our son is perfect. I don't know these parents who say they can't sleep at night because he slept through the night. He ate, he played. He was so cute that strangers wanted to hold him all the time. And I was like, parenting is so easy. And then he turned six months old and I was made a huge liar. And um, he just he crawled early, he walked early, he talked early. And um, I just find now that I cry a lot. And I don't. <laughs> Up, like, can you have postpartum at two and a half years? <laughs> 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 but there's like online information because everything's true on the internet. <laughs> Generally, past the, the year point, when a mom is dealing with lots of emotional stuff, it has more to do with the other stresses in her life. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, so I can't blame it on that. Um, but he just, you know, like, he'll. I don't know, he's just really cute. He is so cute, thank God he's cute, it's what keeps him alive. He's really defiant, and so I feel like we live in the land of time out, and that's really a challenge for me because I got stuff to do. I don't have time to stand and face the wall counting to 60 every five minutes. I'm starting over whenever he like jumps out of time out, and so we start with the timer, so I tell him like, I'm gonna set a timer, and when the timer goes off, We'll be done. And his new thing is when it goes off, he goes, just 10 more minutes, Mom. I just need 10 more minutes. Where are you learning this? I don't know. And so, anyways, he was at the show last night, and I let him come on stage, which was hilarious, because he's obsessed with Todd and Alan. And he sings sailor songs all day long, and then he gets up here, and he gets, like, talk right. Like, he can't perform in front of the precious Todd. And so he finally, like, I gave him a little, he has his own microphone. Um, and so I put the bra on it, and he was stomping around, but he could tell it like wasn't, he couldn't hear himself. And so he kept, <laughs> he knows me, he goes, and I run from the floor, and he goes, eee! And so at the end, he tried to take my mic, and he was just so cute. And you know that moment, parents, when you say no to your child, and you see the face change to almost here? And you're like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, here it comes. And that's what happened last night. I was like, give me my microphone. And it was like that instant, his eyes look like they're about to cry. And I was like, oh no, he's about to drop. And so I'm like, husband, we live away. <laughs> anyway, so it's nothing to do with the next song. It's just really challenging. <laughs>